Welcome Libra to your end of the month reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Okay guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out. If you guys are having a, a great Halloween celebrating of that Halloween. Hope you guys keep it safe, fun. Okay, guys, let's get in here. See what's going on with you. This message is coming out. Feeling a little exhausted right now towards the end of the month. A little worn down, a little overwhelmed. Lots of stress going on. Looks like you've been in the mode to just be driven to succeed. Looks like there's going to be some ambitious news coming towards you. But yet it's kind of like, mm. You know, it feels like it's two different scenarios going on here. It's kind of like I'm getting this news coming towards me, but I'm very exhausted. I'm not sure if I really want to do this. I do feel like deep down inside, I'm, am, you know, ambitious enough to want to get up, take that chance, but I'm kind of like on the, you know, outskirts of kind of recovering from this, trying to get my healing back, trying to get my energy flow back. It looks like you've been stabbed in the back and you're just trying your hardest to kind of get back up, right? Um, it's kind of like, this, whatever this news is that's coming in, you, it's like you're thinking about it, but you haven't taken the action. You're not moving, right? Your mind is moving, but your body is not, <laughs> right? It's kind of like we're sitting on the couch and it's like, I am so tired. And then you get this message and you're like, oh my God, I'm so going to do that um, when I feel better. Not right now. Not right now. So it's something that's definitely grabbed your, your attention. So whatever it is that's coming towards you is really grabbing your attention, but you just don't have the energy right now at the end of the month to really want to get moving. It seems a little complicated. It seems a little like, oh God, not now. But I really want that. Yeah. It could be a new job offer or something that you, you may have to get up and go help a Taurus out. Go help a friend out. Something that that's, you know, could be very successful, it, you know, it does feel like, you know, but it feels like it's kind of getting you out of your comfort zone right now. Because it just feels like it's something that, you know, will this end up as stress? I'm kind of tired. I'm not really feeling it, even though I really want it. Man, we've all felt that. So that definitely seems to not really... Right now, it just feels like there could be another person that's involved in this situation, and that could also be kind of a, uh, they're going to be there, I don't want to go. Mm. Or they can rely on so-and-so, I don't really have to be there. Even though I really think I should be there, but, so I feel like there's a lot of buts going on over here with you, within this situation, Libra. I do feel like it's kind of like, hmm could be a game changer and you know that right but then it's kind of like mm, I don't know if Sally's gonna be there uh, me and Sally don't really you know we don't really vibe um you know or if my ex is gonna be there mm, I don't know so it almost feels like all of a sudden you're very very ambitious about going but yet yeah, tired I don't know my mind says yes my body says no but then it's almost like you get this information that this other person is going to be there. And you're kind of like, now it's kind of like laying low. I don't know. You know, they could do it without me. I don't have to be there. Even though it would be a game changer to be there. There's something going on where it's to the point where this could be a very productive thing for you. Something that's very good, you know. But it's also kind of like to the point where it's like, mm, I don't know if I want to do that. So definitely going to be definitely trying to weigh your scales over here on this situation. It's like on one side, it's a very good thing. I feel very ambitious. 
in my mind. My heart's kind of all in it, but then when I kind of feel, you know, figure out who's going to be there or how it's going, now I'm starting to lean towards, you know, you know what, I'm tired anyways. I need to rest and recuperate. I'm not feeling all that great anyways. Hmm. Interesting. You know, it's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of weird because it reminds me of like going to a party. Right? Kind of like, yeah, I'm really tired. I don't want to go to a party. But then it's like, I do want to go to that party because maybe that really hot guy will be there. And you say he's going to be there and I want to be there. But then you hear that like so-and-so is going and you're like, mm, we don't really vibe. So I don't even know. Maybe I'll skip this time and we'll get that hot guy later. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, or it's the boss's party. But then so-and-so is going to be there, you know, and it's like, ooh, that could be a real good step in the door for me, um, you know, to be there. I could, you know, really, this could be very, you know, an investing time for me. Something is going on where it could be very beneficial for you. But then it's almost like the more that you're learning about the situation, it's kind of like the more you're sitting on the couch. Your mind is still kind of like, should I or shouldn't I? I didn't see, but I don't see your body moving. It could even be that you have a dispute with someone who's going to be at this party. It could be a family member or something like that. I don't know. It's just something that you, you kind of uh, forget it. You guys know what it is, right? But it's kind of like, mm. So I do feel like whatever it is, three is a crowd. There's this other person that's involved in the situation, so it doesn't feel as beneficial as it did. So now you're even taking more steps backwards with the seven of pentacles in reverse and saying, I'm uh, just, I'm done. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. Definitely deciding to, it's, it feels like you're just going to stay at home because you just don't want to be around this, which could be a, it could be a, around another swords. It could be a, a Gemini. It just feels like it's going to be hazardous. Um, this is not going to end right. Um, it's something about the past that has something to do with what's going on between you and this other person. It could be literally a blonde. Just saying. I mean, I have two cards of blonde, so I'm just saying. But it just feels like you guys are not rubbing shoulders right. And just knowing that this person is going with you or that they will be around for this situation does not feel as compelling as it did before, right? Now it just feels like you're just going to say, no, absolutely not. I don't want to be there. If they're going to be there, I don't want to be there. Calling the judgment there for the end of the month. It could even be that Halloween party. You know, you're like, ooh, you know what, I'll put it. And that totally could be it, too. I'm going to put on my outfit, even though I'm tired. I don't know. Yeah, the, oh, they're going to be there. Uh, yeah, I think I, I'm not going to run down now and go get no outfit. I, I think I'm good. I'll just sit here and watch Michael Myers on, watch Halloween on TV and uh, chill and eat some popcorn, you know. So it's not becoming as serious. So what is the overall? It just makes me wonder, like, okay, so... That just made it not good. No, because it's supposed to be a good time, not a time where you're sitting over here with someone else. Because, I mean, this is, is a card of an overindulgence, heavy partying. So it could be definitely that you're, you know, asked to go to this party. And maybe you do want to go see this King of Pentacles, right? Ooh, the King of Pentacles will be there. Oh, wait. She's going to be there, too? The Queen of Spades, the Gemini is going to be there? Now nah, I'm good. Now nah, I'm good. Yeah, using your intuition at this time, it's just like to the point where it's just using your mental clarity for this situation, looking for something else, just wanting to heal. You're just like, I'm, I'm good. This is talking about a lot of imbalance when it comes to this situation. Um, You do feel like this person, it's Gemini. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, it's a Gemini. Um, 
you just feel this person is too deceitful. I just cannot be around this person. This person, you know, they can't keep their mouth shut. Ooh, I see that. Why a page of swords in reverse? You have nothing nice to say, shut it, because she wants to cause arguments and you know it. So it does look like that. Now, guys, if you are end up going to this party, this looks like the outcome. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I am going to tell you right now. Um, the overall outcome of the situation is if you do go here, that's exactly what they're doing. They're, there could be gossip. They're gossiping about you at this party. Um, they're talking. They can't keep their mouth shut. It was almost everything that you already knew would happen with your intuition. I mean, because you have the Ace of Cups says intuitively you already know the outcome. If you guys go to this party, that will be the outcome. Okay, I'm just letting you know. I know, that's that's shitty. But I mean, you already knew it. You know if they're going to be there, that's exactly what's going to go on. It's going to take the extra strength, right, for you to be able to attend the party that you're looking for. So, I, I you know, looks like this person cannot avoid drinking. And it feels like the more they drink, the more their mouth goes. Just saying. So there is a lot of procrastination on your side right now as it's talking about, mm, it's like it was good news and it was the good news that became the bad news. It also could be a Pisces. I have Pisces twice now. It also could be a Cancer. But, um, or like I said, or a, it could be a Taurus. But no matter what the situation is or who it is, it doesn't matter. It looks like no matter what, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those situations where it does look like you're stalling to tell them to tell the other person, whoever you're dealing with, who's throwing this party or trying to invite you to this party, you're trying to tell them, you know, I'll call you back, I'll call you back, I'll call you back, I'll call you back, you know, letting them know about the situation until it happens. But Spirit wants you to know that, you know, if this happens, there will be a tower between you and this person. So, you know, do you want to just sit at home, recover from, you know, being exhausted or, you know, or do you want to go and have some dom domestic disharmony? Because, <laughs> I mean, it looks like that's the overall outcome for the situation. There's no way of getting around that in this situation, right? Because it does look like even if you go, you're avoiding them. But they're, no matter what, they're always very strategical and tricky about the way that they want to try to throw you under the bus, the way that they want to cause, you know, hurt, grief, confusion obstacles. I mean, no matter what, this is their energy. So, I mean, however you want to do that, that is, you know, up to you, whether it's a birthday party or it's this Halloween party or, you know, whatever this is, you know, if it's a place where, you know, that it's a coworker, the Halloween party for the coworkers and you, every time Mary drinks, she becomes a bitch, you know, it's like, you know, and she just starts rambling on. And for some reason, I'm always the target, you know, and it's like, and I don't want to be there because the boss is there. Right. Why does she have to do that? Um, yeah, absolutely. It does look like you have an opportunity for some of you to go into a different direction. You could go off with a Sagittarius instead and go have a good time. Wow. Wow. So it does look like, you know what, you could have other options over here. I think we did have, we did, we had the Seven of Cups. So it says you do have another option over here. You may have this other option with this Scorpio, Cancer, or a uh, Sagittarius, excuse me, to actually go out and have some real fun, to actually have a real enjoyment and actually enjoy your time. And it does look like, you know what, this will be the other could be another offer for a lot of you to go this direction instead, which would be very wonderful. But I don't really see that happening until, seriously, um, a couple of days before, right? Or a couple of hours. You see what I mean? It's, it keeps saying a couple, a couple. So you might get this message like today, tomorrow, Wednesday or something. And then, I'll, you know, it could be a couple of hours later, this Sagittarius could write you and say, hey, do you want to go off and, or this Scorpio, I have two very distinctive Scorpion cards here. Do you want to go off and have fun here? Um, and that would be the offer. That would be the way. If you're really looking to go out and have some fun for a Halloween, 
that would be the way right there. You're going to actually have a lot of contentment. There's a lot of rewards. You have the sun card. This is the way to go. The kids are going to have fun. You know, if you're, you have kids, you're going to go out and have fun. Just have that childish, like, fun. Um, really, you know, sparking that time, sparking some fun within your life. This over here is a disaster. So for those of you who are getting this second offer, um, that's the way it looks like you would want to go. If you're not getting the second offer, looks like you're going to, like I said, sit at home, watch Halloween with the kids or something, or just take the kids out trick-or-treating and enjoy the family, enjoy the kids instead, or however it is. Um, but it looks like you're going to have a better time. Um absolutely giving back to yourself and just enjoying your time and your peace and your healing. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Having a great time feeling nurturing, you know, just really just enjoying your time. Okay. For some of you, you might even have more than one, more than two offers, but no matter what it is, whatever this one is here, that's coming at that first offer where, you know, this person is there that doesn't even look trustworthy because that looks like as soon as that person gets around other people or starts heavy partying or drinking or whatever their problem is, maybe they just like to be loud and, you know, show off for other people. Um, but that does just seem to be this scenario there for them is that's exactly what they like to do. And they like to, for a lot of you, I have to tell you, it almost feels like they're the type of person who targets someone and they like to pick on that one person and try, you know, just to make themselves try to look good in the limelight when they actually look like a jackass, but they don't realize that. So, <clears throat> or you guys are just feuding and it's been a feud that's been going on for a long time and they just, you know, never can let it go. Holding that grudge. Whatever it is, that's not good. It doesn't look like it's going to go any better today than it would have yesterday. School of light is coming out for your Halloween card. Illumination. Okay, so what did I do with that book? There it is. Using our beautiful Halloween cards. School of Light. Okay, so reading the poem first. We can stay in the dark, exist only in the midnight hours, but shining the torch, the victory is ours. Okay, so let's see what this says here. Find the overall, please. Should the School of Light enter your life, Know that it is time to open yourself fully to the clarity of bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see, and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. It says, light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. Uh, that's kind of crazy because I kind of feel... <laughs> kind of feel <laughs> like this uh where'd she go this uh gemini over here <laughs> might be your boogeyman it's too scary too big and we know not how to defeat it yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness the victory is ours so if you do go then you better bring a very big torch of light right <laughs> stay away from me boogeyman so there you go <laughs> oh here she was over here as well that was the card actually i was looking for i didn't realize it was so small <laughs> so oh well in the funny games guys okay anyways until next time and have a safe Halloween, guys, and enjoy. Till next time.